Life goes up and it goes down I know my mom taught me that I figured why we fool around So little And we keep track of time Being so serious Idiots Thinking So yeah, I finally decided to pull the trigger on the M1 Max MacBook Before the clock runs out my editing has been getting heavier and heavier and my video files are no less than 200-300 GB now since I shoot everything on 4K 60fps. My previous PC just couldn't handle it and rendering would take almost 5-6 to six hours minimum. I'm also considering switching to Final Cut since Premiere Pro is not yet optimized for M1 chips and it's just not taking full advantage of the MacBook. But I guess I'll just have to wait and see on that one. Anyway, today I'm designing a logo for a cafe in Copenhagen, Denmark and I'm super excited for this project. Just to give you a little bit of context, it's called Bella's Coffee Lab and they have been in business locally since 2017. They're now building a much bigger space and expanding the business and they want to give the brand a new look as they move forward. I remember all things must pass But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up I'm not ready, let me have another day Don't wake up, wake up Okay, so once you have an idea of how you want to design to look and feel, it's time to discuss it with the client. Some of the brands that I took major inspiration from are Arabica, Double Slash Coffee and Starbucks Reserve. I love how minimal they are and have a simple and recognizable identity to the brand. So taking inspiration from these brands, I created a mood board and shared it with my client. They loved the approach and asked me to move on with the next step, that is, sketching down the ideas. I was yours for the taking, guess I needed a home. But if I'm not mistaken, you were good on your own. Oh, and I know, and I know I was drunk enough, didn't know. Since it's called Bella's Coffee Lab, I wanted a bit of chemistry element to be there in the logo. So I just kind of started with caffeine's molecular structure and explored some ideas around it but it just kind of felt overcrowded. I sketched out a few more ideas around coffee and I really like how this kettle turned out to be. It looks really neat, minimal and modern. I also played around with the name itself and I love the idea of using this wave which represents the crack in the coffee bean. And again, I love how simple it is and still easily recognizable. I have one more idea in mind that I wanted to try before I present it to the client. I basically wanted to trace over a latte art and see if I can do something with it. I was young, dumb and broken When I met you that night Should've known you were something That would mess with my mind oh, But I won't, but I won't put the blame on me You're the one, you're the one to be on the yeah. Cause you can handle emotions, oh. Okay, so after giving it some thought and discussing with the client, we decided to go ahead with this wave concept. It represents the crack in the coffee bean and I love how clean and minimal it is. So the reason I had to scrap this kettle idea was that this kettle is usually used to serve filter coffee and using this icon would associate the brand with just filter coffee. And that idea contradicted the brand goals. I did like the latte art but I don't think it works well as a logo, although I could definitely use it somewhere else in the branding. Okay, before I move on with design the wave concept, I quickly want to tell you about today's sponsor, Invato Elements, where I get all my design resources from. Now, a good logo is made better if presented right, and Invato Elements has all the resources you'll need to one up your presentation game. From photos to fonts to mock ups to presentation templates, WordPress themes, and Adobe templates. They have over 55 million of these resources that you get unlimited access to, and they have a very simple license that counts even after your subscription has ended. So if you click the link in the description, you get 50% off your annual subscription and you get unlimited access to all of this for less than $20 a month. i 
Okay, so I have the vectors ready and now I'm gonna just browse to Envato Elements and download a few mockups to present this design. I'd give you the world like I promised I would Even though you wouldn't do the same I'd give you the world like I promised I would Even though you wouldn't do the same 